This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. I don't like the fact you have your phone in my face. Okay, I don't like the fact that you're blocking me for our paper. Hey, Karen! <laughs> this one's for you. No, you cannot have an on station or shirt. You can't. You can't. Can. Can. What's good, everyone? My name is Sweet Tea, and welcome back to our last episode of For You TV, where we talk about all those little things that get underneath of your skin. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell too. Oh, and as always, if you like what you see, then feel free to, you know, drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, share the love. There's no need to clean out your ears, sweetie pies. You heard me correctly before. This will be the last episode of this season of For You TV. It's been so much fun creating what I feel is relatable content for you all here on this show. And a lot of time and energy and effort goes into creating just one of these episodes. So mama needs a break. I also have a lot of awesome projects that I'm working on that I need to dedicate just a little bit more time to so I can keep giving you guys some good quality entertainment here on this channel. So with all that being said, I'll be returning with new episodes of For You TV in May. It's not that long of a break, so to keep you guys entertained, I have plenty of other content available on this channel. Plus, I'll be dropping in some new stuff here and there, you know, just to spice things up a little bit. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you might want to go ahead on and do that so that you can stay tuned. Now that all the business is taken care of, I'd like to address the dark, and I use that term loosely, cloud that's looming over us all. In case you've been living under a rock for the past few years, or decades, actually, a Karen is a term for a woman seeming to be entitled or demanding beyond the scope of what is normal. So to clarify, a Karen is a woman of any race that thinks that she's better than or more deserving than somebody else. Keep all that in mind, okay? But with that being said, though, um... I'm going to be addressing certain Karens in this video. Um, Karen, how you doing, girl? Uh, I, I, I just, I just, I just want to know why it is that you can't seem to mind your own damn business. Mind your damn motherfucking business. Why you got to know every single detail about every single person, place, or thing that you interact with? Why you got to be so damn nosy? We hear about y'all all the time in the media. Hell, at one point in time, it felt like we heard about you every single week. From Barbecue Becky to Convenience Store Carolyn to Peppermint Pat... Permit Patty. The media could have made a whole standalone show with just y'all in it. And if you do that, I want some my credit, okay? What is it about us that makes you feel so unsafe? Because let's face it, that's what it's all about. Something about us strikes fear in your heart. Y'all must be afraid of the dark or something. Is that what it is? That, that, that's what it is. That, that's what it is. And why do y'all always have to ask for the manager? This person has an entire restaurant to run. They can't keep stopping for you every single time you want to rant about the 18% gratuity added on your check at the end of the night. Um, ma'am, it was written in your menu before you ordered. Don't blame your server because you can't read. But for real though, I need to know this. Why do you seem to think that we're gonna hurt you? You can't believe everything that they show you on the TV and in the movies. Huh, that's a topic for a whole nother time. Matter of fact, the better question is, why do you think that you are so much more valuable than everybody else in your small little world? Like you're the only one with a life. Like you're the only one with issues. Like you're the only one who gets nervous about the world around them. Ma'am, I am black. You can tell that, but my world gets a whole lot scarier when you start meddling around in it like the Scooby-Doo gang. I'm gonna need y'all to chill, okay? There are far more pressing matters going on in the world right now than that group of black people sitting outside minding their own business having a conversation. Just because they get a little loud for your comfort don't mean that they're planning on robbing you or hurting you or anything like that. That's just how we talk when we get together, boo. Listen. If you have ever been called a Karen, well, then that means you 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 got some things in your life that you need to reevaluate. 
means that somebody thought that you were so much of a prude, so much of a diva, so much of a drama queen, that there was simply no other word that would fit. And that is a shame. You know what's crazy about this? Is that y'all are some of the most sensitive, fragile-minded people that ever walked the earth. I bet if God had a main office number, you'd be trying to call and complain about his son. Hello, God. Yes, your son is down here performing miracles, and I have been standing in line for 10 minutes waiting for him to get to me. This is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just thinking about a Karen complaining to God is hilarious to me. <laughs> like, 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 what if, what if a Karen is the real reason why Jesus was crucified and not Judas? <laughs> Anyway, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move on. Y'all be complaining about everything just because it's not how you think it should be. Um, excuse me, but why are you riding your bike in the street? That's what bike lanes are for. I'm calling your manager. Um, yeah, excuse me, but I've been waiting in line for two days to get my white mocha frappe with double shot of espresso, and it tastes like there's only one shot in here. I'm calling um, your manager. excuse me, but what kind of establishment is this that can't even keep my ice from melting in my drink? This is an outrage. I'm calling your manager. Like, girl, who said the world revolved around you? <laughs> Newsflash, there's gonna be some things that happen that you're not gonna like that are out of your control. It's called life. You should get one. And why do you feel safer immediately after calling for the higher authority? It's like you get a rush of excitement standing behind them like, yeah, that's right, get him. <laughs> um, ma'am, just because you called him, don't make you right. Oh, y'all feel real powered by your privilege until somebody calls you on it or until they tell you that you're the one that's actually wrong. Then you start running scared and, and making up lies and calling wolf and whatnot. That's why I am so thankful for camera phones. So that way we can catch y'all candidly profiling us. Huh? Yeah? You like, you like what I did there? You know, the candid camera? Y'all yeah, yeah, got it, y'all got it, y'all got it. Let me break this down for you, okay? The more unsafe you feel, the more unsafe we are. I, I don't think y'all caught that. Hold on, let me, let me try it again. The more unsafe you feel, the more unsafe we are. What I mean by this is if you think, if you think that we're up to no good, then you have the ability or the privilege to really react and do something about that. And as a result, you could cost someone their life because of a feeling. We have so many hashtags because of this exact recipe. But fret not, Karen, because I'm here to help. So go on and grab yourself a pen and paper so you can write this stuff down, okay? I want you to try and think outside of yourself. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know that this is a foreign subject for you guys. Uh, bad choice of words. Uh, I know that this is a, a new concept for you all, okay? But, but if you ever find yourself in those Karen-inducing situations, then I want you to think to yourself, hmm, would I feel the same way if they were my same race? Or would I feel the same way if the roles were reversed? Just try it, you know? Just, just try it. But hold up! Wait a minute! This video is getting a little too long and a little too serious. And we don't want the Karens in the comment section saying nothing. So I'm gonna just leave you with this little tip, okay? Stop worrying about what other people are doing and go out there and get you a life of your own. I don't know, find something else to help take the edge off because y'all stressing me out. If you like this video, then please do all that same stuff that all the other YouTubers ask you to do. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And hey, if you have a topic or a pet peeve or just a little ism that gets underneath of your skin and you want me to talk about it here on this channel, then why don't you leave it in that comment section down below and I will check it out, okay? Well, my name is Sweet Tea. I will see you all in May, and I hope that you all have a flavorful day. Okay, I, I didn't mean for that to like rhyme, but it kind of did, and so like I'm gonna just roll with it. But like that wasn't like an intentional thing. But bye, y'all. I'll see y'all in May. So Mama needs a break. Away from these cars and keep driving past this house, but mm. this way I'm
mama needs a break, okay? So mama needs a break. Traffic! Plus, I've got a couple little new things that I'll drop in here and there. The car! Demanding beyond the scope of what is normal. Did I actually do that right? Yes. Did it right? Did it right? Did it right? This is not a dancer channel, so I'm not a dancer. And now we have an elusive owl that's outside my window. Can you hear him? I know y'all hear all this sound that's outside of my window, okay? And you know what's crazy about this? Y'all are some of the most sensitive, just over, that's not it, oh uh, no, just, oh uh, man, just, just y'all, I man, look, like girl, who's in the world of all around you? <laughs> uh, I became a whole DJ for a second. <laughs> y'all always feel empowered until somebody calls you on it, or until you find out that you're the one that needs to go back and read that line again, because that's not it. What I mean by this is that if you think that car is gonna keep coming by here, you're right. Dang, I don't even know. Oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna use. <laughs> Success! I'm not a dancer. Don't come for me in the comment section, okay? Cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dynamite.